Hey, what's up, everyone? This is BDF 44. July 1st, 2019. It's probably about 11 o'clock Pacific time. And the Lakers have yet to announce a signing of any kind uh, as it pertains to Kawhi Leonard. I'm not surprised. Because he's doing what he said he was going to do. It's going to give the Lakers a meeting, Clippers a meeting, and then give Toronto the last meeting. That's what he agreed to. Um, everyone on Twitter and Facebook is basically saying it's over. People who are claiming to be um, just close sources are saying that their sources are telling them that it's a done deal. But the reality is we don't know anything yet, officially. No Woj bomb has been dropped. No, nothing's been said on ESPN, nothing's been said on Fox, nothing's been uh, reported other than the Lakers, the Clippers, and the Toronto Raptors are still in contention. So, you know, I'm just being patient. I think that this is one of those situations where you can think a lot of different things. You think about, you know, the drama that the NBA uh, puts into their free agency um, circumstances every year for the past since LeBron did the decision, it's always something. So obviously, this is another one of those cliffhangers for us to bite our nails about and continue to think about the NBA all day, all night, and obsess over them. And you know, it's all propaganda. But at the end of the day, it would be nice if, and as I've said in a previous video or two, uh, if things just kind of made more sense in terms of how they sh are structured. Uh, time-wise, you know, and that's something that that I think it's, you know, this is unnecessary, basically. I mean, free agency is already passed, deadline, I should say, and now we should uh, know exactly where people are going. Then we should be seeing a draft of some sort coming up after free agency, in my opinion, just to make it make more sense so teams could structure their teams more properly. Um, but in this particular case, you know, we're just kind of sitting here waiting for one guy to, you know, ultimately tell three teams what his plans are. And because of it, those three teams are missing out on so much that they could be doing free agent wise in his stead. Just about everybody worth having uh, is off the board. And the Lakers are so top heavy that they need to fill the rest of their roster. So if we are getting Kawhi Leonard. Knowing about it would kind of give us an understanding of what we can and cannot do as, as opposed to uh, if he decides to go elsewhere. Uh, now we're trying to fill out our roster and everyone's off the board. So um, the Lakers have been quiet. And because Kawhi Leonard has this kind of quiet disposition, I would expect that that you know, all three teams are keeping their mouth shut. The, the Toronto Raptors haven't said a thing. And, of course, the Clippers are, are out from what I've been told. But, um, you know, nevertheless, what's being reported is that they're still around. So, as far as I'm concerned, Kawhi Lin is just sitting up trying to figure out what he wants to do. You know, yeah, everything's laid out on the table for him. Uh, yeah, he has meetings. But... At the end of the day, he has to make a decision. And just like Paul George, just because something is laid out flat for you don't, doesn't mean you're going to make the decision that everybody wants you to make. you got to make the decision that's best for you. And as it pertains to this, I just don't know what Kawhi Leonard's thinking. No one does. So as of this hour, we just sit here and wait. Um, I, like I said, I've, I've heard from sources that I trust that it's a done deal. But at the same time, I understand what's going on here. A man is trying to figure out where he wants to be for the next four years. So whatever he may or may not have agreed to, he can still change his mind if he hasn't signed anything. You know, we've seen that before. People change their mind the last minute, do something else. Boogie did it last year. He was on his way to the Lakers and changed his mind last minute after a phone call. Decided to go to Golden State. I mean, these type of things are in real time, people's decisions. You know, for all I know, he just decides that he just wants to stay in Toronto just because he changed his mind. You know, he went to sleep, woke up, had a dream and decided he was going to do something totally different with his life. This type of things really do happen. But at the same time, 
it's the NBA. A lot of money's wrapped up in where these players go, and a lot of times you, you look at the schedules and you can see the coincidences in the schedules because they have set certain things up, and there's no way they could have gotten that mathematically per perfected to where this player meets this player on this day so often. So I have to believe that there's some science to uh, how, how these, play these teams are structured. And um, so it kind of conflicts with my belief that this is actually as it's being reported. But, you know, I have no proof of anything. I just sit back and read tea leaves. And um, all, things, all things considered, a lot of people have went out on, on a limb and said he's going to be a Laker. So um, it's going to be several people having to reel they, their words in, including myself. Uh, if he decides to change his mind. But at the end of the day, uh, we'll know when we know. So, that's pretty much all there is to say, let alone what I have to say. That's it. We're waiting. Hopefully he makes the decision to uh, to come to the Lakers, from my perspective. And if you're a Raptor fan, you're hoping he doesn't. If you're a Clipper fan, you're hoping he, if he somehow changes his mind and, and, and goes your way. I think all three of those options are okay. And I think the Lakers option is obviously the best option. But I think the Clippers option would be pretty good. I think the team would be very good in the long run if he decided to go there. And I think the Raptors have proven what they can be with him. Um, even though the East has gotten stronger, it's hard to convince yourself you can't do something that you just did, no matter what the world is telling you. So, I don't know. Maybe he talks to Kyle Lowry and, and decides to go back to the Raptors. I mean, there's no real way of knowing how this thing is going to play out until you hear a Woj bomb. So we're waiting for that. But anyway, hopefully I have some good news to, to share in the morning. I'm hoping that he chooses the Lakers. So we'll see. Everybody have a great one. Take care. BDF.